Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm here with another luxury handbag review for you guys. Today I'm going to be talking about the Bottega Veneta mini pouch. I love this little handbag. It is the cutest thing ever. I got it last year in February 2020, just before lockdown happened, and I wasn't able to wear it at all. But I found like this new obsession with this bag. I can't stop wearing it. It's sitting right here in my lap in this cute little pouch. I wanted to let you guys know that I'm making videos twice a week now. I know a lot of my audience said they wanted to see a mix of luxury but then also budget-friendly everyday outfits to help you create a timeless beautiful wardrobe. So if you love watching videos like that please make sure that you're subscribed to this channel so you don't miss a video from me and without further ado let's go ahead and get into this video. So here is the little bag. I have it in the color chalk. Love this bag so much. I have been wearing this for weeks now on end. This is the first bag that I've been reaching for and I freaking love it. If you didn't know what color chalk meant, now you can see that if I have it against a white cotton shirt, the color variation between the two whites, this is more like a bone. If you're explaining chalk to a novice, you can always say kind of like a bone color, which I really like because it's not a true white. So it's not gonna look dirty or have little marks on it. I've actually been wearing it a lot and there is not a single mark on it. I will say, however, I do take really good care of my things. So I'm not the type of person where I'll buy something and then not wear it because it's too expensive. I definitely get good use out of this stuff. But then again, like I'm not putting it on any kind of liquid. I'm making sure that if the surface is dirty, I'm not putting it down. And I try not to like bang these things around so that they actually stay in their peak condition for as long as possible. And I think I've taken pretty good care of this. I love the structure of this bag. It's like a little cloud. It just reminded me of that. The color is timeless. You can't go wrong with this. You can wear this with so many different looks. I love that it comes with a detachable strap. So if you want, you can wear it crossbody as well. And then of course, this strap is adjustable. So if you need to adjust any of the straps, like you can tie it tighter and make it a lot shorter. However, I personally don't love the way this fits and looks as a crossbody bag. I definitely think it's like a hundred times more chic if you carry it under your arm or if you carry it as a pouch or a clutch. If you're taking this as an evening bag and you don't feel like carrying it in your hand, having the crossbody definitely makes a big difference because you can actually shorten the straps to make it even a shoulder bag so it's hanging just above your hip or you can leave it long and have it hit kind of like mid thigh which is as long as the strap goes so it's essentially very long if you're a taller person the length of the strap definitely comes in handy so I have to give them credit for putting this long strap in here I do like the way how the strings stick out on either side but you can totally remove them if you like all you need to do is just take this little knot off and then you can just take it off but I do really like the way it looks so I've just kind of left it like that the leather is ridiculously soft it is so beautiful. I absolutely love the woven leather. I think like Bottega pieces are so timeless. They're not obnoxious in the sense that they're covered in logos. They really take great pride in the craftsmanship of their leather. So they make them just so beautiful and unique. When you open it, there's one large compartment in here. So you can actually put a lot of things in here because the leather actually stretches quite a bit. So this this pocket actually goes quite deep and then the way it opens up you can fit a lot of stuff in here so I can show you how I fit this is an iPhone 12 I believe and I can easily fit it in here on the bottom so it gives it like a nice base so I have this Jo Malone perfume this is the 30 ml so it's their smaller size I can actually fit the entire bottle in here I can fit my full-sized hand sanitizer because you know you can't go anywhere without hand sanitizer at least I can't after lockdown it's changed me forever my little blush and bloom from Jouer this is a great product by the way if you need a little bit of color on your face you can use it as an eyeshadow a blush and a lipstick I'm wearing this today this is such a great color my little wallet over here 
easily fits in here and then you can just close it up there you go locked and loaded it is not open at all nothing is falling out either here we go just to show you that it actually fits in here. You can fit your sunglasses in here, although Ray-Bans, you know, can be kind of flimsy. So I would put them on the very top so that they don't get squished. It fits, there you go. It's totally closed. You wouldn't think that a tiny little bag like this can fit all of these things, but it can. There you go, you're ready to go. You have everything that you need for the evening in this tiny little pouch. I don't have anything negative to say about this bag. It is just perfection. I've used this continuously. It looks so freaking chic. Five out of five, you cannot go wrong with this. I actually want to get another bag just like this. I think it's in the shade Caramel, but it's sold out everywhere. Oh my God, I wish I can get my hands on it. It's like nowhere to be found because it's such a beautiful, rich tan color, but hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to find it soon. That's it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to like this video, hit the notification bell and the subscribe button. It would mean the world to me and I'll see you guys very soon with a brand new video. Take care.